For practice at exercise 2.12 nested numbers, we need to write nested for loops that produce the following output. We notice that we have three lines of code and they all output the same thing. So we'll have a for loop right here. It'll be int a is equal to zero and this is gonna run as long as zero is less than three. That way we can get all three lines of output. Next, we'll have a for loop. And this for loop will run how many numbers we have. We have zero, how many different numbers we have. We have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll have for int b is equal to zero. And we're gonna run this as long as b is less than 10, or actually less than nine. Um, and we will do b plus plus. Next in here, we will have a, another for loop, and this for loop will output all of the numbers. So we'll have int c is equal to zero, and then we will do c is less than nine. Or actually, we have to do c is less than three, and that is because it's outputting three different numbers, and then c plus plus every single time. So, in here, we'll have a system.out.print, and inside of this, we have the number. But, it's changing every single time, so we'll make it b, since b is going all the way up to 9. Since it's going all the way up to 9, we need to set b is less than or equal to 9. And then, after this runs every single time, it's going to have a system.out.print line for a new line. If we submit this, we have passed the test. We're going to review over this since there's three, or there's two nested for loops. So our first for loop is just going to print all the different rows. So we notice we have three rows. We have one row here, one row here, and a third row here. Our next for loop is going to print numbers one through nine. It doesn't print all the numbers, it just knows that there's a zero, there's a one, there's a two, there's a three, there's a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Our next for loop is going to deal with printing every single number. Prints three of every single number. And what this is doing is it is seeing that C is equal to zero, C has to be less than three. And since C is less than three, it outputs three numbers, and it's going to be the same number since we are taking that number from B. And that is the code that will give us this output.